We've all heard the term maidenless before, tarnished. I mean, it's the first fucking thing you hear in your journey. But you, I am afraid, are maidenless. Out of this little meme came the term maidenless behavior, which is often used to describe an individual that gives off the vibe that he gets no bitches. After the term was popularized, many people started using the term to refer to unwashed gorgonites that committed unspeakable acts of filth, such as being a redditor. But here's my question to you. Have you ever witnessed true maidenless behavior? Tarnished. Have you ever witnessed the lowest common denominator of human society? The one that has their arse cheeks peeking outside of the fine, delicate line between normal person and a reptilian sociopath? And no, looking at yourself in the mirror doesn't count. Well, we're here today to show you exactly that. For your amusement, you see, true maidenless behavior contained in one smelly, bloated red package. I hope you are ready. It all began when only Waifu was recording for an early game build guide he's making for all of you. Because he loves all of you so much, you see. He got invaded by this walking hemorrhoid right here, wearing heavy armor, the molester's simp mask, the icon shield for health regeneration, and spiked fists. Keep in mind that first, this is a one versus one, and second, the build waifu is using, despite being powerful, is very attainable in the early game. You can craft it in just one hour. A guide for it shall be released soon. The fight began with waifu giving the red man a reminder of why leveling vigor is important, causing him to retreat in panic and drink from his physic flask, giving him extra health regeneration. After rolling carelessly out of danger for far too long, the McDonald's ketchup pack received a hit that almost gave him a one-way ticket to lose a land. And after this, the tomato sauce abandoned any semblance of sportsmanship. He takes a sip from his flask of soy milk and resorts to using his musky scent to attack, causing Waifu to retreat. Seeing that facing adversity head-on like a man wasn't in his big book of rules for big bitches, he glimpses over the tree sentinel and decides to take refugee in his vicinity. Having all of the resources in the game is not enough to face a single host with a normal build for him. He needs a boss to do the heavy lifting for him too. Witnessing such an act of braveness causes Waifu to retreat inside the church to pray to Marika, for he's not worthy of such noble adversary. This seemed to make the testes of the overgrown blood cell tingle into his narcissism, making him visit the church for a little stroke to his ego. But when he saw that Waifu had no intentions of caressing his little peepee -pee in admiration, he retreats once again to climb into the tree sentinel's ass for shelter. Since approaching him would be a very stupid idea, Waifu stays behind to throw some knives at the baboon ass colored dude, thinking that maybe this would deliver his message of, hey, pussy, come and fight. Are you really that afraid of pixels? But just like toddlers, unless you speak to them very clearly and slowly, he most likely didn't get the memo, so Waifu goes back inside of the church for a more bamboozle-like approach. This strategy didn't work out too well because Waifu is as subtle as a sledgehammer, causing the bravest invader in the world to flee once again in fear of adversity and hide under the balls of the tree sentinel's horse once again. Noticing that his masterfully crafted strategy was not working, the period stain tries to man his way out of the situation one more time, but since that that is way out of his pussy league, he retreats once again to do the only thing that will grant him the closest thing to a victory.